So we wanted to come back on here and share with you guys what we've been up to for the past seven months. So hey everybody, we are the Akpan family. I'm Karen. I'm Aiden. And I'm Sylvester. As you guys know, we sold our home in February of this year. Uh -huh. We bought an RV and we've been on the road since then. For the past seven months, we've been to six states and we've driven over 3,500 miles. So we started in Idaho. Yeah. And what was our state after? No, we started, started in Idaho? We started in California. We started in, well, we left home California. What was our first state, Aiden? Reno! Is Reno State? No, Nevada. <laughs> Nevada was our first state. After Nevada, we went to Idaho, and then we visited um, Montana, uh, Wyoming, Wyoming and then Dakota. we headed, and then we went to South Dakota, and then we drove down to Texas where we are now. So we didn't really have a plan. We just wanted to come down to Texas and visit family. We had family drive from California to visit us here in Texas, so we drove down here. We have to, like family in the Dallas area, so we visited with them, stayed with them for a little bit and then hung out with her family down here in Galveston at the RV park here, which has been like really nice. Yeah. Um, but we ha we don't really have like a, a set plan. We're just kind of- Go with the and, flow? Well, yeah, we're going with the flow, enjoying it and all that stuff. And, and, and chasing the sun. And chasing the sun, <laughs> right. So it was getting cold in Idaho when we left. So it was it's kind of nice to be in Texas now, although it's getting a bit hot. It's kind of nice to be in Texas. We didn't really pack any like snow cold stuff. So I think it's like perfect to be here right now. Um, so Aiden, you want to share with us, what is your favorite thing about RVing? My favorite thing about RVing is that, I, that there isn't that much room and I get to stay with my mom and my dad. Do you love that? Yep. Guess what? We love it too. Guess what? We love that too. So living in a tiny space has been so interesting. Um, I thought that I would get like, I would get tired of both of them. Mm. And, but no, we actually love spending time together. What but do you, you know what, the, what do you think, man? I live in our, we spend most of the time outside. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, Aiden, mm. that's like outdoor, always, it's outdoor Aiden playing, right? Aiden spends most time outdoor playing with friends, meeting new friends. You've met a lot of new friends. Yeah. What are some of the fun things that you've done with, with friends I, that you met? I played basketball. Uh huh. And I went, and I played soccer uh -huh. and I played what did you do on the forest when we were boondocking? <gasps> make a fort yeah so t tell us a little bit about the fort the fort was kind of small the first time we did then it got a little bigger the second time then huge what do you make the fort with Aiden? sticks, oh, sticks. sticks? Okay. so Aiden met some friends when we were, we were boondocking uh, basically staying on free land in Idaho, and they went into the forest. They built forts. They had so much fun. Did you guys go to the river too? Yep. Yep. So they had so much fun doing lots of outdoor stuff. So, like I said, there's been so many pros to RVing, and I can't think of. I don't know. What is? What? Can you tell me something that you don't like about RVing, Aiden? <clears throat> Why? I have nothing that I don't like about RVing. Are you sure? Yep. Are you, no, you don't. What about saying goodbye wait, 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 to friends? Just don't say that because of the camera. Say what you really, really think. Because I don't get to see any of my cousins. Yeah, so, okay, so that's a good one. So you're sad about missing your cousins, and that's okay. So your cousins actually came to visit you last week, right? Yeah, yeah so they drove from California. They came down to visit it, and we spent, like, the week with them. It was amazing, and we're secretly hoping that they buy an RV and join us on the road. That would be very <laughs> Wouldn't that nice. be so cool? Yep. Yeah, if so they, yeah. what about you? What is your, like, least favorite thing about RVing? Well, the, my least favorite part of RVing <clears throat> Is uh, when we get to pack up everything and get ready to leave or do the dumping of the tour of the <laughs> gray and black tank with me and Aiden. I always do it, it's my partner, right? <laughs> so they're pretty good about doing that. I just like to sit and watch because <laughs> I don't really know how to do it. So I guess the, the dumping part, but is, is it does the dumping part really hard? Like, no, it's not yeah. actually, it's just a process. And sometimes you got to make sure that the whole system is clean, you flush it up, and, and you're ready to go. But it's just the packing up part where you have to pack up everything and head to your next site mm -hmm. and set up. Just like the other day, we were pulling in here and I forgot that um, uh, we needed to fill up the uh, propane tank. So After we had unpacked already. We unpacked and set up everything, <laughs> it was all nice and clean. And so we had to like pack it back up and dry back to where we got to go fill. We had to go uh, fill the propane tank. So, yeah. so, so you the, have those. The, but the cons are like super minor. Yeah, they're, they're so minimal. 
Yeah, I think for me too, to be honest with you, being in this RV lifestyle now, I don't know if I could live in a home anytime soon. Like I've actually really enjoyed it more than I thought. We've been doing like really good working. Aiden's doing really good with school stuff because he's unschooled, road school, whatever you want to call it. So his learning where we go, we get to spend time together. I mean, it, trust me, it's not all perfect. There are days where I'm just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> where I'm like, get away from me, guys. <laughs> or the day they just snakes up into the bed. Oh like, my I God, that's like almost every mom. night Aiden's in bed with us. <laughs> you know what though? I don't mind if we had a king size bed, Aiden. It would be so much fun, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. But we our RV is a bit smaller, so we have a queen size. But um, other than that, I think all the pros, I mean. It outweighs the fun. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Spending time together, not having to worry about a mortgage, having fewer bills, working less hours. <gasps> Ate it. <laughs> is that your surprise face? Yes. And then being able to like, you know, enjoy nature and everything like that. Um, so, so far, so good. We're six months in, and do you see us hopping anytime soon? No. Uh, no. I think it's a full steam ahead right now. <laughs> I'm loving every moment of it. So I have a question for my dear husband here. Yeah. When, we were, when we were leaving, he wanted to keep all this stuff in storage. I'm so, no, no. <laughs> so now that we're like, do you want to keep paying for storage, or do you think like it's time to like let go of that storage? I think it's time to let go of a couple of things. Or downsize the storage. storage. Oh, actually downsize it. Uh -huh. I see so many things in there that like by the time we, if initial, if later on we choose to like move uh -huh. in a house or stationary house, mm -hmm. a lot of those things would have like been outdated. So we will need to like sell them and upgrade. So might as well just sell them now, get some good value for the money. Right. And things like then, TVs and electronics and stuff yeah. like that. Because when we moved though, initially to be honest with you, we said, what did we say? Remember it was a year? We said, we'll, we'll try it out for a year and see how it works out. But like, we're like six, seven months in and- <laughs> I don't think a year is gonna cut it. When and I'm, there's no way oh, that we're moving back to I wouldn't, I wouldn't give this up for anything. Right, me too. Right now, yeah. So I told them, I said, the only way we'd move into a house is if we bought it cash, to be honest with you, because the more paying a mortgage is honestly like not being financially literate for me was the biggest thing because I've learned we've learned so much in the past year and this year as well that has really changed like our outlook on life mm -hmm. how we spend money we sit like right now we barely spend any money so we're saving a lot more we're putting a lot more to bills we're able to pay more stuff um so it's like perfect um but anyway we just wanted to jump on and share this update and if you have any questions about like our RV style, ask us in the comments where? Below! Ask us in the comments below. We'll try to answer uh, the best that we can. Um, any questions, any concerns, anything you want to share with us, make sure to, to, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel, follow us. We'll try to update more often. It just gets super busy. Actually, it really doesn't. We just get busy having fun together.